Hello YouTube and welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Oh hi, I'm Chu. Definitely is Chu here. Hello and welcome. If you're new to the channel, what do we do, Mum? Um, Chinese takeaway food. Yes, we've got lots of experience. Three generations of takeaway owners. Own takeaway since 1956. Now, today, what are we doing? I forgot what I was going to say then. What are we doing today, Mum? Today we're doing um, soft fried noodles. Exactly. Now this is a side dish, not a main dish. I want to make that clear because last time we did fried rice, a lot of people were going, well, this isn't how I get fried rice. What I go, it's got peas, meat, and all other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's because you've ordered a main dish of special fried rice. This is a side dish of fried rice. Yeah, a side dish, all right? Yeah, it's all right. Also, there was no sesame oil in this. That's a common misconception of Chinese takeaway cooking. Everyone wants to put sesame oil into it. There's three reasons why a takeaway won't put sesame oil into it, and if they do, they're probably not that great or don't know what they're doing. One, sesame oil is expensive, a takeaway is done for profit. Two, sesame oil doesn't go with everything in um, Chinese food, whether you want to believe that or not, it's true. It conflicts with a lot of Chinese flavors. Yeah. So having a base product with uh, an underlining flavor in it, it, it clashes. A side dish should Compliment, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, mum? Yes. Side dish should complement the, uh, the main, main dish, dish, not conflict its flavours. So if your Chinese takeaway has put sesame oil in, they're probably not actually chefs and they've just bought their takeaway because they've got Chinese faces. <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is honestly true. Um, Face. Yeah. <laughs> Normally good takeaways are family owned because they actually are chefs and they've done it. They've grown up um, doing it. Um, so the good ones tend to not put the um, yeah. sesame oil in. It just doesn't go. No. And no, thirdly, not at all. it burns. So yeah. if they are putting it in the pan, sesame oil burns at high temperatures. At home, you're okay with doing it. But if you're in a 13 kilowatt um, wok, it's going to burn and taste burnt. That's not that's not um, toasted sesame oil you're tasting. That's burnt oil. And that's, I call it, to me, it tastes a bit like diesel when that happens. Yes. So I just wanted to make that clear, but we don't put them into ours because no, it conflicts with flavour. Okay, so we're doing the basic soft noodles. This is, what, 90% of the takeaways out there will be doing. We're not going to be doing it with spring onions for a couple of reasons. One is that every takeaway where we are doesn't put spring onions in. Most places don't put them in because they're expensive. We don't put them in because it clashes with flavour. Uh, not all dishes, most dishes actually, I'd say 80% of Chinese dishes actually work with spring onions, but then there's those few that they don't, um, so we we won't um, use them. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is a long intro, but there's quite a lot to go through for just a side dish. <laughs> but uh, like I said, it's these little things that help you at home um, understand Chinese cooking a bit better. I always say, if it works for you, it can't be wrong. Yeah. Put in sesame oil if you really want to when you're at home because it won't burn at home. Do, by all means do that. That's, if that's right for you, that's right for you. Yeah, that's right. So we'll get on with the noodles, yeah? Sure. Yeah. So here we have all you need for these soft noodles. We have some sliced onions, very important. We have noodles. This is one block of Lucky Boat noodles. We sell this on our website. We've actually got merchandise that you can purchase um, as well now. We have a good two handfuls of bean sprouts, a tablespoon of oil, a quarter teaspoon of um, salt, a third teaspoon of MSG, a dessert spoon and a half of light soy, and a dessert spoon and a half of dark soy. Now, we use Ligumgi Premium Dark Soy and Ligumgi Premium Light Soy. You can use Pearl River, but make sure it's always premium. Yeah. Yeah? Why, why always premium? It's better. It is better. All right, okay, so. We're going to heat up the pan and put the oil in. The pan's up to heat. In go your onions. Yep, onion. And you want to brown these off and get some flavour onto them. Yep. Turn it a little bit. You can see it's browning. OK. 
Okay, now in go your um, MSG and salt. And you want to brown off the MSG, get it nice and brown. This should only take about 20 30 seconds. In go your noodles. This dish literally only takes about three or four minutes to cook. Yeah, spread it out a little bit so everyone share the heat. Every now and then you want to leave them to sit so they catch a little bit, like yeah. there. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera. So you can see in the middle yeah, there. Yes, it's browning. That's how you get the sort of scorched flavour. That and browning the MSG. A lot of people said it's impossible to do when you're at home. I believe it's not impossible and that's just people blaming them, um, their tools when in fact it's actually quite easy to do at home. It just takes patience. You're expecting to be able to do the same sort of thing yeah. on a wok with half, less than a quarter of the power. Now you can see the noodle is slightly soft now, isn't it? Yeah. It looks slightly different now, isn't it? I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's going to show on the camera. No, but I can see it. Yeah, with your eyes you can see yeah. that the edges of the noodles are starting to catch. You don't want them to burn, <laughs> but catch. Now in go with your seasonings. So you need yeah. your dark and your light soy. You're beginning to smell the soy now. It's your lunch, isn't it? Yes. Looking, I'm forward, looking to forward to it. Looking forward to it, yeah. I think you're always looking forward to it, yes. aren't you? All right, let it do a second, then we can put the the rest of that. What was it called? Bean sprouts. Yeah, the bean sprout. Or doya. Doya, yeah. In Chinese, learn something every new every day, don't you? Yeah. And you can put these in um, before you add the soy, but we like to put them after because they tend to overcook if you do that. But again, it's, that's completely how you like your bean sprouts. That's another thing that's very subjective. Yeah, some people like it very well done. Some people just like it. Uh, Crunchy. Yeah. We like to keep them just bright like, yes. as well. Because if you put the soy in with them, they tend to brown a little bit. Yeah, it's looking good. Looking forward to it. Yeah. So it's done. Done. Should be done now. Yeah, serve it up. Very, very nice. Obviously, Mum's going to want chilies, so we're going to yeah. put some chilies on. Super. Okay, so we've actually waited for it to cool down a little bit, so Mum can hoover the whole thing up. Yeah. 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 I like noodles. I know you do. <laughs> Should we try it out? I love lamp. It yeah. is. Obviously, Mum's going to hold it because, careful. Mm. Yummy. All right. I don't know if this is in focus. Again, new camera. Um, and I've apparently bought one of the worst for auto-focusing, so thank you, Nikon, for that. I didn't realise that. It, this was actually up on one of the um, best cameras for YouTubing. It's not. It's, it's not. <laughs> mm. Good? It's good. For me personally, there's not enough salt in there, but I add salt to everything. Having said that, though. <laughs> if you think, if you want to add any more salt or whatever, because everyone tastes different, isn't it? You can just by all means add whatever you want. You want some chilli sauce, you can do it. You want more dark soya, you can, you know. I like my noodles really, really dark yes. as well. But anyway, so mm. that's about that. You can get the Lucky Boat noodles and the seasonings and stuff on our website, which is www. Too many W's again www.jangsworkshop.com We've also got our merchandise Look now. Look at that noodle. We've also got our merchandise, which is from Spring Teas, and the links are below as well, if you yeah. fancy helping the channel out by doing that. We also, if you fancy helping the channel <laughs> by becoming a Patreon, that would be awesome too. Um, again, they get written recipes, um, extra vlogs and content, stuff like that. But if you can't afford that, or Damn you just it. don't want to, we just appreciate you for being here. Make sure you yeah. hit that like button though. That really does help in terms of um, getting our videos out there. Yeah, thanks Guy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Happy cooking, happy eating. Yes, that was a quick one. Desperate to yeah. eat your food, aren't you? Anyway, as yeah, what mum said. So, cheers guys. <laughs> See, I already finished my noodles. Yeah. So nice.